Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can edit Illustrator files directly in InDesign. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put or place an Illustrator file uh, on this or in this InDesign document. So I'll go to File, drop down to Place, and then what I will do is I will grab this American Airlines logo, I'll say Open, and I'm just going to drop it right here on the page. Okay, so we have our logo here, and as you can see, uh, it did bring in the two Pantone colors, the 485, which is red, and the 281, which is blue. Uh, and you can see it's also a linked asset right here on the document. Okay, so we have this logo right here, but the problem is I really can't edit it. For example, if I click on it, and if I go to my colors, or if I click on the actual image itself, it's, everything's grayed out. I cannot change any of the colors. I cannot manipulate the ar artwork. The only thing that I could do with that is maybe scale it up and down. I can scale it down and, of course, scale it up. I can probably do a few more things, but really I can't edit it. So working with a placed image is not the way to go. So I'm going to show you a little trick. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to jump right over. I'm going to hop right over to Illustrator. Do a Command-A. So I select all of these elements. Copy it. Okay, and then I'm going to come back here to InDesign, do a Command A, so I delete what's on this page, and then I'm going to paste the uh, the image or the object on the page. And the reason why I am saying the object is because it is no longer an image; it is a placed object. So what does that mean? Well, first let's take a look at the colors. It's still brought in the two Pantone colors. That's great. But what I can do now is I can select, I can select these anchor points and I can actually change the shape. I can modify this thing any way I want. I can also change the colors. Like I could change that blue to green and I can change this red to, oh, I don't know, maybe magenta. All right. But I am actually editing or modifying this object. Remember, because it is no longer an image. And another plus is because it is a pasted object on this document, guess what? There are no linked assets. So you don't have to worry about not copying or not actually um, packaging an image because it's not an image, it is an object. So that's how you can modify an Illustrator file directly in InDesign.